I'd like to call the meeting of the North Little Rock Chamber or North Little Rock Planning Commission to order, please. Ms. Keisha, would you please call the roll? Alexander? Here. Blaska? Here. Chambers? Present. Deeds? Foster? Here. Harris? Here. Phillips? Here. White? Chairman Clifton? Here. Thank you. Do I hear a motion? Can we excuse the absent members? Second. Motion made and seconded. We excuse the members not present. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Uh, let me please remind you to turn off your cell phones, please. And uh, if you're going to speak, please come to the podium and speak into the microphone. You have been submitted a copy of the minutes from our previous meeting. Are there any additions or corrections to the minutes? Move they be accepted. Motion made and seconded to be approved as submitted. I'll second it. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Under our Development Review Committee, Mr. Don Chambers. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Development Review Committee met and considered SD 2016-27 Foothills Edition, Lot 5, Preliminary Plat, Site Plan Review of Apartments, located at the northeast corner of I-40 and North Hills Boulevard. <clears throat> the applicant was present and agreed to all items between, uh, all, all items and subsections, items 1 through 11. And with that, the Development Review Committee recommends approval Second. Motion made and seconded that be approved as submitted. Uh, are there any comments from anyone in the audience on this application? Any comments from any of the commissioners? All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? The second item is SD 2016 30, Norms Place, Lot 1, preliminary plat of parts of three lots into one lot located at 7015 Woodmiss Drive. The applicant was present and agreed to items 1 through 10 in subsections. And with that, the Development Review Committee recommends approval. Second. Motion made and seconded that this application be approved as submitted. Is there anyone in the audience who'd like to speak on this application? Any comments from any of the commissioners? On the application, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Third item is SD 2016-26 Iron Mountain Edition, Lot 6R, Block 27, replat of four commercial lots into one lot located at 601 East 13th Street. The applicant was present and agreed to items 1 through 10 and subsections. And with that, the Development Review Committee recommends approval. Second. Motion made and seconded that the application be approved as submitted. Any comments from anyone in the audience? Any comments from any of the commissioners? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Item four is NS 2436-15 WNLR commercial editions, lots nine through 18. It's a one-time, one-year extension of their preliminary plat. The Development Review Committee recommends approval. Anyone in the audience would like to comment on this application? Any comments from any of the commissioners? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? That concludes the, the report of the Development Review Committee. Thank you, Mr. Chambers. Our next order of business is under our public hearings. Uh, first case is rezone case number 2016-8 to rezone 7015 Woodmiss Drive from conservation to R1 and to amend the land use plan for public, from public to single family to allow for a single family residential structure. Is the applicant here? Please come up. My name is Mike Marler with Marler Engineering Company. I represent the applicant. Okay. Uh, have you been submitted a copy of uh, any comments from the uh, planning staff? Yes. Y'all yes, agree with everything on them? Yes. Okay. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak on this application? Any comments from any of the commissioners? On the application, Ms. Kisa, please call the roll. Alexander? Yes. Laska? Yes. Chambers? Yes. Foster? Yes. Harris? Yes. Phillips? Yes. Chairman Clifton? Yes. Your application did pass. Get from Mr. Spencer and he can tell you where to go next. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pardon? I'll do it. Thanks. Appreciate it. Next order of business is a conditional use case number 2016-11 to rezone 
to allow a car lot in a C4 zone located at 2006 Highway 161. Is the applicant here? Please come up and give us your name. Edwin Johnson. Okay. Uh, have you, uh, you met before the development review committee and uh, you, were you submitted with a copy of the recommendations from the development review committee? Yes, sir. Do you agree with all those? Yes, sir. Okay. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak for or against this application? Any comments from any of the commissioners? Ms. Belasco. And it, it may be on here and I'm just missing it. Do we have a, a hours of operation? Yes, it's on. item number one. Yeah, we're in here. Is it on there? 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily. Item number okay. one. Okay, I had a phone call from a lady that I'm not sure exactly where she lives, but uh, had it was on my voicemail. Uh, some complaints are basically asking us to deny it because of noise. So I don't know, you know, you're not going to be doing any repairs or anything like that. Oh, ma'am. Okay. Just repairs to the vehicles that we sell because it's a garage already fixated okay. to the facility. And the garage will be open 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. whenever you're there? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Chambers? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. I received the same phone call and uh, she said there were other people in the neighborhood that opposed this rezoning uh, basically because of noise and she didn't believe additional car lots, car sales facilities lots should be allowed on Bethany Road uh, or in the in Ward 2. I got the feeling that she was just opposed to car lots, period, because there were, because there were plenty of them. Uh, uh, in terms of the noise issue, will you have a public address system? No. No. So if a, if a salesperson is needed off the lot, you'll go out and get him or call him on his phone or something like that. Call him on a cell phone. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Did y'all request the time, 6 to 9 p.m.? No. It was done through the, that's what they proposed to us as hours of operations. Pardon? Well, I think uh, the, I think the concern that the neighborhood has is uh, not the car lot per se being open, but the garage being open until nine at night. And uh, people uh, working, congregating around the garage, things like that, and noise. Would you be agreeable to uh, cutting your time back? Or yes, sir. How about eight to six? That's fine. Okay. You want something shorter than that? No. I, what, what did you say? 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Oh, is that good for y'all? Yes, sir. That's 10 hours. I mean, <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> if you can't sell some, <laughs> if you can't sell someone a car in 10 hours, they don't want it. Need to be doing it. <laughs> yeah, like I say, well, I don't like I say, I, I don't think the neighborhood had a problem with the car lot per se. It was uh, afraid of what the garage behind the car lot might develop. Right. Mr. Foss, oh, no. Ms. Velasco. Um, is this an eight to six? Are we going to uh, basically, I don't know the right word, but attach that to the garage only? Or no, no, is, that's the uh, Are we just going to use it for the overall? Number one. This is number one on the sheet here. I understand. But the whole thing. The whole? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, and I would also direct the applicant's attention to item 17 that failure to comply and considering the neighbors are paying attention. <laughs> I would be really quiet. <laughs> okay. uh, everything else is okay with the exception of number one to be changed from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m.? Well, I would like for like on Saturdays to go to seven people off. Sorry, say again. On Saturdays only, we would like to stay open to seven because we weren't planning on opening on Sundays. Right. Well, uh, that would be Saturday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Saturday. Right, he's asking if on Saturday it could be 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I don't have a problem with that. I don't either. Okay. No, that's fine with me. You got those date, those times down, Sean? Yes. Okay. Do, do we need to? I'm serious. Yeah. Do we need to make a, an amended motion or with Sean's? I think you can just put it in the minutes and it will okay. be included. Yeah. 
Okay, Sean's gone. Yeah. You're voting on this list. Yeah. Okay. You're voting on this list. Okay, guys, y'all know what we're saying. From yes, uh, Monday through Friday, 8 to 6, Saturday, 8 to 7? Yes. Good. All right. Okay. Uh, anyone in the audience like to speak for or against this application? Any other comments from the commissioners? On the application, please call the roll. Alexander? Yes. Blasco? Yes. Chambers? Yes. Foster? Yes. Harris? Yes. Phillip? Yes. Chairman Clifton? Yes. Your application did pass. If you'll call Mr. Spencer tomorrow, he can tell you what uh, you'd be looking forward to do next. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Under the next order of business is public comment. Anyone? Jay, you got any hands? Uh, Sean, uh, did you want to announce the uh, Planning Commission training in, in Fort Smith? Okay. I got the email on it. I did. It over. Yep. There, there is a, a workshop in Fort Smith coming up. That I, if you didn't get it, uh, call me tomorrow and we'll email it to you again. It's uh, yeah. 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 Planning Commission training 301, 101 and 201 have been held. And they're very good. And 301 is more technical and deeper and gets into important aspects of it. So. Okay. Please email that out. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Foster. You know, I was uh, out of um, city for July. Did uh, the uh, conditional use, special use, uh, come for city council pertaining to that uh, ABC Materials Company? And what was the what was their decision? As of about two o'clock today, they just now got the drawing done. Okay. Okay. So, so the drawing's done, so now they're going to meet with the alderman to see if they'll sponsor it. Okay. But literally 2 o'clock today, it was finished, the drawing. So they've been, <clears throat> I don't know what held them up. They've had a problem finding a sponsor or a problem getting the drawings done? Problem getting the drawing done. You were here whenever the commission approved it. Yes, yeah, I was here. That was in June. I missed the July meeting. And then, you know, I was, I was thinking about that and it also brought to mind, um, you know, a lot of things, well, everybody said everything we do, this recommendation goes to the city council for their approval. Uh, do you keep a tally of those? Because sometimes I miss it in the paper, I'm sure that's up. And, uh, and I don't understand, you know, uh, catch what the decisions were, you know, and- Do I if, keep track you, of what? You know, wh whether the city council approved or disapproved our recommendations. You know, oh yeah, I, we, we, I have a spreadsheet showing, you know, I'd going be all the way if, back. If every month and part of our packet, you could just give us you know, the previous two council meetings decisions, if there's any of our planning commission uh, items on their agenda. We can do that or I can maybe easier just email it to that's, everybody. That's fine. Yeah. Whatever, whatever works for you, works for me. But I, I miss those in the paper. So I'm gonna read what's going on in city council. Mr. Chambers? Uh, yes, in, in line with what you're saying, Charlie, uh, at the Capital Zoning District Design Review Committee, um, we ask the staff to report actions of the committee so that whenever the commission, actions of the commission, so when the commission may, takes an action, we, we know whether or not we guessed right. Because, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and if, the, if, if we prefer, we could ask Sean for a verbal report. What did the, what has city council done planning wise in terms of approval since, since our last meeting? If you think a verbal report would be better. Okay. I think an email would be good for you, Mr. Chamber, or Mr. Spencer. Oh, want... just an email so I can do it the next morning saying this is what happened, la yeah. you know, what happened Monday night. I can yeah. send one the next morning saying this is what got approved. That or handle it as part of administrative. I might forget. I can remember the next day. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens and, and go from there. I like the emails. I like the feedback. I think that's good. Thank you, Charlie, for bringing that up. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Anybody? Second. Motion made and seconded. We adjourn. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you.
So you think you'll have an appointment by next Wednesday or you think...